my boy Donny Cates does it again. Hey everybody, this is Nerdicane. I'm still on that subscriber drive, so if you're watching this, please hit a like, please hit a subscribe. Um, trying to get to 1,000 viewers. I am 913 short right now. Um, so yeah, I got that going for me. But this is Cosmic Ghost Rider by Donny Cates. Here is credit where credit's due. I'll do it again on the inside. Um, I wasn't that excited about this until I started really looking at the the character designs and that this, that this is Frank Castle. Uh, that's not a spoiler, don't worry about that. And I read it, here's credit where credit's due. Donny Cates, and I'll say this, Donny Cates is probably going to be the next big thing at Marvel. Um, I am, I was on the fence a few months back. I am really liking his work. I'm really liking the things he does. In this ep in this issue, God, I keep calling them episodes. In this issue, it grabs you, and it basically kicks the door in. Says, "You get off the couch. You're coming with me. We're going on a on a journey." And yeah, I'm already. I just read this like five minutes ago. I'm already excited for uh, issue two. I'm excited to see this more of this Frank Castle as um, Ghost Rider, the Spirit of Vengeance. I am really into this so kicks off this is great this is how you tell the story quickly go from soldier dead family war on terror death hell all this became he became the uh ghost writer at one point then he went a little bonkers um became the herald of galactus look how fast this happened that all this stuff it catches you up to speed in the first three pages boom 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 you know what's going on so get out of the thanos uh, he was the right-hand man of Thanos for a while, death, and then finally he's destroyed by uh, Mjolnir, Thor, and so it's like, it's like a future story. So it starts off in a bar fight in uh, in Asgard. Thor, or not Thor, Odin pulled some strings. He pulled, he did some stuff. Decided that Frank was such a great warrior that he des he deserved to be on Asgard with these gods. And look at this. This is the, there's there's ports in here. The first time you read them, we have we're so shell shocked from the forced cursing that's been at Marvel for so long that we when we see cursing, we're just like, oh yeah, forced cursing. But no. And look at this. Uh, this guy, I forget who this what god this is. He says he's like, who taught you to fight? Thanos, the devil. And the United States Marine Corps. That is awesome. So here's the thing. He's he's basically just a troublemaker in Asgard. And uh, Odin comes to him and is basically like asking him, like, what the hell's the problem, man? Why 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 are you acting like this? Why are you being nuts? And so there's a little bit of force cursing in this. And then right here, this is a great line. Odin basically to solve this problem, he's like, okay. You're such a pain in the butt here. I will make you the Ghost Rider again. I will send you to any point in time you want. Just, you gotta go. And, well, he thinks he thinks that he's giving him a, cho giving him a choice. Um, look at this. Look at this. That is great. This is, this is how you not, this is how you do cursing in a book. It has a point. It has, this is a phrase from Earth. He's, he's quoting a phrase from, from Midgard. And right there, he has his cosmic cycle. I forget what that thing's called. Um, on the next page, uh, I just like look. I'm already, I'm already out of this. I'm already, I've already checked out. This is if you got Dan Slott on it on this book, Fantastic Four. Why didn't you put Chip Zdarsky? His two in one was great. Uh, but getting this back to this, he's basically saying this. Oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna spoil it. I'm not even gonna spoil the whole part of. Uh, him with the helmet and the the, uh, the ghost power, the ghost rider powers. I'm not even gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it because there's something kind of cool there. Um, so basically, he chooses to go to Thanos when Thanos is a baby to kill him, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna give you guys today. Go read, go pick this book up. Um, it's awesome. I think I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. The series, Donny Cates. Good job, man. You are definitely a bright spot at Marvel. See, there's little things here and there at Marvel that are 
you know, that, that give me hope, that keep me going with Marvel. There's a few writers, there's a few artists. Um, right now, Marvel Comics has like been in this race to the bottom for since 2014. There's glimmers of hope, and hopefully, you know, hopefully they can come through and the cream will rise to the top instead of, you know, getting tramp, tamped down by uh, Sana Aminat's whatever movement to make this a, a, a lifestyle brand. I don't know what the hell that, I don't know what that means, but this is a cool book, cool book, blah, 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 cool book. Uh, Donny Cates, Cosmic Ghost Rider, number one. You can pick it up on the shelves right now. It's just like, you can just dive right in. Um, I described what it's like, man. Ghost Rider's gonna kick your door open, say, you, come with me. And that's, what, and you guys are just gonna go have an adventure. This is good Marvel writing. I'm excited, you can hear my voice. I'm excited to read something like this because Donny Case is a writer who wants to write these things and is enjoying writing these things. And thank you, Donny. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I got a little bit of stuff to do. I'm gonna start doing a lot more racing games because, because of my hearing loss from the Air Force, I applied and I've been chosen to take part in a, in a study and development of, it's basically voice to text, uh, voice to text software for people with hearing impairment in their, in their gaming. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be part of that study. I'm going to get paid to do that. And you know, as a programmer, I'm a programming student. I'm finishing up my degree this summer. So hopefully, you know, I might be able to slide in there and see if I can do a little interning with them. That'd be fun. But go buy this. This is fun. Um, thanks for watching. We're closing in on seven minutes. I am Nerdicane. Once again, hit that like, hit the subscribe, go pet a puppy somewhere out there. Have a good day.